All right, howdy everyone, welcome back. Uh, episode two, so first time we talked about just bringing a model in, opening it up, what does it look like, comparison between the classic and the new interface. Uh, I'll go ahead and just get things started here, quick review, and then we'll get into uh, selection. Aptly named, you can pick your friend nodes, you can pick your friends, but you can't pick your friends nodes. I don't know who thinks of these names, it's fairly ridiculous. Uh, so in classic, I'll, I'll go ahead and select the user profile that I'd like, remember there is a new kind of startup window in the new interface where you can select your user profile and pick recent models uh, and your user start and directory, if you so choose. Um, over here on the left side, let's go ahead and, and file open. Remember, if I want to open a HyperMesh model, a .hm binary file, I need to go file open. Oh, this model looks good. Bring it in. Bam. Perfect. Uh, and then on this... Uh, Right hand side over here, we will go. Uh, I'll use the new uh, drag and drop option, I suppose. I'll take uh, my file, my just uh, file, whatever file explorer, grab this, and go blammo. It asks you what you want to do. I'll say yes. I don't want to change interface. I, you know, it OptiStruck Nastran. It's like, all right, so, uh, you know, side by side, this is what they look like. Obviously, the browser has changed. We're talking about browser next time. So get excited about that. I know it seems weird to have a full session on the browser, but today we're going to talk about selection. And it's very important to think of this as a very paradigm shift, right? Where in the old GUI, essentially in, in order to do a selection, you had to be in a panel. You had to be about to do an action. And that action was anything, you know? Think of all of your, your verbs that you learn in second grade. To query, to select, to hide, to show, anything that required that, you know, verb, you had to be in a panel, okay? So simply, you know, masking parts is probably one of my most common things. How do you, how do you mask? There's no mask in, in the new interface. Well, you know, the old interface, I had to go to a panel and I had to, now I get the little, you know, yellowy box with the fun 70s highlighter around it. And I can now select things to mask, right? So if I did want to go select a little patch of elements and, and mask them, right? In the old GUI, you would go to your mask browser. You'd do a little shift click, right? Uh, shift click, or you would use the advanced options, right? By face, by displayed, by all, okay? And then you'd go mask, right? Uh, the geometry is still, still there. Um, and I guess, of course, within your component tab, in your components here, you could show or hide individual components, right? Uh, via right click or turning on and off the little uh, icons here. Right. Okay, oh, that was the full, the full thing thing. If you, if you want to just hide the rivets, okay, I can turn them on and off here. So how do you do that in the new the new GUI, right? Specifically, mask, right? Mask is this big one because um, this is kind of getting into model manipulation, but you know. It's in the new GUI, I can't separate it from selection. Selection is going to be the key to working in this new interface. And the first thing that you're going to notice, um, as far as selection goes, the model is now live. As you hover over it with your mouse, right, things start to light up and appear. Large models, this can be an issue. So there are preferences for all these things. That's another nice thing is a lot of this stuff can be turned on and off. If for some reason, you really hate burnt orange and you live in Texas and you went to a different school. You know, uh, maybe this orange is not your favorite color. You can change that. Uh, but what I'd like to point out is the model is live now. You also get these little uh, tool tips is what we call these little tags next to your cursor that will tell you the component name uh, as well as the ID range. And this is going to change. This tool tip will change dependent on what your selector is. But what we're in now is what we call idle mode. And what you see at the very top left of the GUI is the lightning bolt, and it says all. Okay which is, is kind of this, uh, I guess, catch-all for uh, selection, right? There's a little drop-down here that will allow you to be more specific about what you select. So comparing this, this element mask, right? Let's just take that use case. Um, so what I would like to do is I'd like to be able to say, let's grab some elements and then perform an operation on them, right? And I'd really like you to start thinking about how you would do this in, say, like in Microsoft, right? If you wanted to, to grab a couple of sentences and you know, delete or bold or italicize them. What does that look like, right? It's determined on a selection first, not choosing 
I want bold first, and then I'm going to select what I want bolded, right? I select first, and then I hit bold, right? So kind of an opposite, opposite type of operation here. So for the same thing, I'm just going to click and drag. Don't have to hold shift this time. So this is just going to be click and drag like you're in any kind of, uh, you know, standard product from the last uh, 30 years. And from here, I have 950 elements in my selection. So firstly, I get a count. That's quite nice. And then secondly, I'm going to perform an, an, a, like an additional operation on this, right? So again, think Microsoft. So, you know, if you wanted to copy, paste, cut, uh, bold, italicize, you would usually right click and you have show, hide, isolate, reverse, even more options, so many options, right? So this idea of right click now in the new GUI uh, with the selection is going to be kind of your new best friend, right? So able to just drag a little box, right click, and just say hide. Okay. Uh, very much kind of the same thing over here, except I have to hold shift to grab this box and hit mask. So, you know, easy peasy lemon squeezy. And what this kind of general selector does, and we're, we're going to call this kind of just uh, this ability to, to do like query on your model without having to, to be in a specific panel to, to specify what you want queried first. You can get all of this data out, right? Um, any, any kind of operation within right click is now going to work on that selection, right? So, okay, well, you hit them all, Blaze. What well, I want to show them all. Okay, well, Right click show all, it's going to show all elements, kind of like all elements all. It's going to select elements even though they're masked, right? It's different between all and display. So right, so I can just go back and say show all and then whoop, everything's back up here. And then this would be, I guess, the same as uh unmask all. Okay. So that's I mean the gist of it, right? So this idea of your selection is now right on your model. Um, elements, nodes is, is a, obviously a big one here. Just, you know, grab a little swath of nodes. You can't really mask nodes. That doesn't, doesn't really work. Uh, but you can select nodes. You can, you know, move them. And you can also uh, essentially query them from right click as well. So if I have a single node and I want to know what is its XYZ location, that's always a big question, right? What is this XYZ location? Uh, you know, in, in classic, you'd had the, I believe you had to go geometry, you know, create or edit whatever uh, nodes XYZ you know go as node and you can click on a node and it would give you the X Y and Z well right now you just right click and say edit that node you know much like you would get additional information out of something um, and all of the X Y and Z is going to be right here okay. and then you can change input system you can assign input systems to these nodes in the new interface everything is going to be a lot more uh, kind of live within the model without having to go through additional steps okay so um, i would say about 50 percent well that's kind of bold i would say 50 percent of the panels and panels usage is just now taken over by the fact that i can select something live within my model say an element i can right click on it and i can edit it i can show hide isolate i can duplicate I can organize now so all of my organization is going to be under right click essentially okay um, and get additional details about this okay. I also like this new option as well uh, within the OptiStruct profile uh, to automatic to well quickly I guess not automatically uh, create a set right so there's a lot of times where you know you might want to partition your model in a particular way independent from components or even independent from um, uh, parts, but you know, you just want this little swath over here. It's an important swath. Uh, hit create set, right? So it just creates a set, and now you have a set, and you can use that for post processing. You can use that for all sorts of things. Okay, so very kind of simple selection. Now let's talk advanced selection. And when I say advanced selection, I'm talking about I'm going to go back to the mass panel. All of these options in here by path, by include, by attached, adjacent, face, blah 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 blah. Right, so all of these other options that that you know um, are used as well. So all of those options are going to be in this little dot dot dot. Okay, so if I wanted elements by face, right? So elements by face, I go dot dot dot. So I get my advanced selection, 
First, it comes up by component, so just listing them out. But I'll also have this option by edge, by face, by line, material, different options, 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 so many options, actually. So I'll just go by edge, and this is going to kind of float, so I can move this. You can change these values on the fly as you go, but as you kind of hover over your model, uh, you will start to see, once again, this option of edge. And to append the selection, uh, you will hold control, much like you would if you were selecting multiple files within a Windows file explorer. So if I hold control down, um, it won't replace the selection, but it will keep appending. I could change, you know, free edges only, free loops only. Uh, I can change this angle okay, on the fly. Hit OK. Once you're done, that selection will be up in your uh, selector, and then you can do what you need to it. You can show, hide, isolate, reverse, uh, you know, right click, select, attached, or adjacent, right? If I wanted the next layer, I can get adjacent. Okay. So all of that's going to be under, under right click okay. um, and the advanced selection. Okay. Oh, other things that uh, uh, people always ask about. Um, for certain things, for nodes and elements, um, there is a modifier. There's an alt modifier on your, your uh, keyboard. Okay. So you can hold alt. And uh, for Alt on Elements, it'll do by Face or by Edge. So let me just scroll in here a little bit more. So that Edge, right, it finds that Edge of Elements versus Alt uh, as well would be Face, depending on where your cursor is. Okay. Uh, you can always clear out with Escape or this little Reset button, uh, much like the Reset button we had in Classic. It's a very uh, throwback right there. And... Um, uh, nodes is by path, so alt the modifier there is by path, and and you'll see that your your uh, little cursor should change to um, a little path. Boop. Okay. Excellent. Um, so as far as selection goes, uh, this is also going to be very important when we start using new tools because. We will, as as much as possible, try to pass a selection from idle to new tools, right? So, um, whereas selections were pretty dependent on being in a panel, and if you if you left that panel to a new workflow, your selection usually got lost. Okay, um, the uh, the option you know here is if I'd like to take these elements and maybe remesh them, I can take these elements from this idle selection, and then go to a mesh tool, which we'll talk about later at some point. But those 360 elements just get passed to that tool, right? So this idea of going from idle to a, a particular tool uh, is quite a nice little workflow. Um, wow, what else is going on here? Um, so these were the show, hide, isolate tools within Classic, right? These little two creepy eyeballs that were staring at you all the time. Um, you know, those have been replaced by the, the right-click methodology. Um, and also, all of these have hotkeys as well. So if you are a gamer, and that's that's the life you live, you've chosen that lifestyle, um, you know, you're very much now in kind of control of having one hand on the keyboard, one hand on your mouse, uh, running through selections, using hotkeys, which I probably won't use very much in a presentation like this, because I want to show you stuff. But, you know, hotkey, H for hide. A for show, uh, R for reverse, those different types of things. Okay. Well, isn't that just wonderful? So selection. Um, and the final thing I'll say about selection, something kind of smart, well, not kind of smart, smart that we have put into it, is this idea of referenced entities. Okay. So we used to have references, um, this X reference type of idea, if you would right click on anything over in the, the uh, browser, there would be an option to um, uh, find its references, so all of the nodes and elements and materials and properties associated with things. Uh, but now we have that same type of reference just upon selection and changing selection. So if I were to select an element and I want to know information about the nodes on that element, whether it's a tria or you know any type of element, um, I would just change my selector from elements to nodes, and we can kind of see that those four nodes have now been added to that selection. Okay. Um, and then if I wanted to know what systems were assigned to these nodes, I could, you know, if I had systems in my model, I would be able to go to systems or reverse this. If I started from a system, what nodes are assigned to that system? 
and kind of work backwards. So there's some really kind of very smart logic built into this as you start changing and swapping through different type of selections. Okay. All right. Well, with that, uh, I think that's what I have for selection. Um, again, I appreciate your time. Next time we'll talk browsers. And uh, yeah, everyone stay well, and we'll talk next week. Thanks.